Celebrity Organ. Will our guest sign in, please? Welcome, lungs. Will you tell us what you do? <laughs> we breathe. That's it? Hey, there's no time for anything else. You know how many times we breathed last year? 9,406,792 and a half. A half? Yeah, well, the year ended on an inhale. Oh. Hey, listen, you gotta breathe or you don't get one oxygen, two energy, or three the big one life. I see. Well, can you give our viewers some advice on taking care of their lungs? Of course. Never sleep on the water and never put anything in your mouth that's on fire. You know, a cigarette. That's right. It could take your breath away. What else? Eat right. Sit straight. Walk tall. Because good posture helps keep you cool and helps your lungs work better. Well, I think I know whose lungs you are. No names. Weren't you on happy days? Come on, admit it. Hey, don't hold your breath, huh? <laughs> take care of your lungs. Another swell way to be a powerhouse. And that guy here whistling. Big stuff. We're here to test the effects of three different kinds of alcohol on three equal runners. Runner number one is filling up on beer. Runner number two, whiskey. And number three, wine. And they're off. Decision making, poor. Vision, blurry. Balance, awful. All three drinks had the same effect on all three runners. So if you're thinking about drinking, get the facts. <laughs> Nope. 
This is mine. I meant to take one of those. You can see why I never use my locker. Yeah, you could break your foot. You're gonna love him, Brenda. The kid's a real champ. <laughs> and he's good at everything. Everything? Everything. He's just like his old man. I gotta get back to work. Okay. I'll see you. Al. Yeah. Aren't you expecting a lot? Ah, you'll see. I took it up to 60 miles an hour. What? Gosh, did your mom know about it? My mom? Are you kidding? Hey, uh, chili money? No, what for? Some beer. Beer? Yeah, don't you drink beer? Yeah, but I like wine better myself. Oh, yeah? I think my dad's got some in his house. But I only like one kind of wine. Oh, yeah, what? Chablis. Chablis. <laughs> I think they call it Chablis. <laughs> Chablis. Chablis. What's the difference? Right. Well, let's go to my house and get some, right? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I liked it too much. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. Here's some more. No, watch out. You want to sit here? Oh, you want to sit here? Oh, you want to sit here? Oh, you want to sit here? You're a Gambrino. What's the matter with you? That doesn't mean I'm green. Hey, we've never had a no good Gambrino in this family. Well, I'm not. Give me the wine, Cliff, for my son. Which one, Dad? I'm sharp for myself. Don't tell me you're not going to play ball tomorrow. I don't want to hear it. Well, Dad... I spent too many years of hard work teaching you to play like a champ. Well, Dad, maybe you wasted your time. Hey, come back here. You sound like a loser. Listen, I wanted to buy some, some, some vodka, but I promise. It's his birthday tonight. Yeah, well, I understand what you mean, but I wish I could help you. You think you're going to help me? Just get some phone. Can you sell it? Can you sell it? Trust me, I can pull off. No problem. Where's someone cross the place? What am I doing? I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just asking someone to buy something for my father. My friends! I hear that you have something of a problem. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, we do. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to buy a bottle of vodka for my father. It's his birthday. Oh, it's his birthday. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It'd be an awful shame not to have a gift. Yes, it would. It certainly would, wouldn't it? 
I wonder if we could work out uh, some kind of business proposition. Here we are, Princess. Welcome to the castle. What about the basketball there? Ah, I can drink and play basketball anytime. Oh, okay, but I know what you feel with this guy. Tony, we're so loose, some, you know, be cool. Yeah. Hey, what happened to you, man? I thought you were supposed to be the big superstar. Hey, look, I'm sorry. Some ball I can't even walk and dribble at the same time. Papa, you don't look too good. Have you got this move? No, no, I'm just tired. Well, wake up. It's five in the afternoon. Maybe if I take a shower, I'll feel better. What's going on here? Like four or five bucks. Since when did you have four or five bucks? No, I'm not kidding, man. Somebody must have stolen it. Well, if you want money for the machine, I'll loan you. It's not the point. Tony, my money's gone too. What's going on? I'll just take a look. Jennifer? Seven dollars and a wallet. Kevin? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Okay, Archie. I took my tape recorder. Oh, oh, tape recorder. Pepper? My lunchbox has been missing for a month. Oh, well, that's probably in your locker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peter. Well, I didn't want to say anything, but uh, what? I guess someone stole my watch. What? I didn't say anything because I needed to get mad. You're darn right I'm mad. That's it. That's it. I've had it. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And when I find the little sneak thief, somebody's going to be in big trouble. Big trouble. Yeah, but there are 50 or 60 people around this place every day. It could be any one of them. Well, first thing tomorrow, we'll get everyone together and check this thing out, all right? Gotcha. Bye, little. Bye. -bye. This is Kevin. I'd like to take a quick time out to say hi to the 4-H Club in Montgomery County. We're going to take a break now, so you sit tight and be cool, because the show is not over yet. This week, Accident of the Week goes to Roxbury, New Jersey, where August Magro III is about to climb Hazard Peak. Have you checked for hidden dangers, Augie? I have studied the cliff. Now Augie checks his equipment. Good work, Augie. And he's off. Charge! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No. Looks like Augie never learned how to climb. The judges scores. And from Cuba. Here are point to five. And now a word from our new champion. And there you have it. This is not Howard Cosell. When doing something risky, always check your skill. A great way to be a powerhouse. Bridget Prey is getting her tooth filled. If you just thought it her dentist will help Bridget relax through hypnosis. I mean, whatever that, just close your eyes. You might be drifting off on a nice warm day. Just open up your mind. By concentrating on pleasant images, Bridget just overcomes her pain. Enjoy the day. You take a nice deep breath and open up your eyes. There you go. Look around. Hey. Wow, we're all finished. How do you feel? Okay. 
when you go. Hey, Bridget, you know one of the reasons why you were able to do so good? Because you have developed the ability to control your body. Medical hypnosis. Another way science is helping you become a powerhouse.